So this is a good question. And this is something I'm jealous of. You know, when I was 11 years old, there weren't video games. There weren't. They're mechanical uh, arcade machines is what we had in my day. Uh, so I didn't get as 11 year old dream of making video games. I just knew I wanted to, and I, even at that point, I didn't know if I wanted to write or not. Um, but so for games and making them, because it's good to learn mechanics, it's good to learn that understanding because your writing affects that and influences it and you just don't want your writing to be uh, so sitting on top, separate from it. I um, mean, you know, what are his friends playing? Are they in Roblox? Are they in Game Maker? Or will they play something he makes with Game Maker? Find out where his friends are, have him make stuff inside of that because then he could share it with them and get feedback and that's the biggest thing. And then for writing, um, if you are a novelist, I think you can go off in the woods and write your great novel and on your own and, and be all weird about it. But if you're writing dialogue, if you're writing for TV, for games, um, for anything that has naturalistic, realistic kind of dialogue and back and forth and characters and personalities uh, that you have to have come alive, uh, have your son live his life. Um, just get exposed to as much stuff as he can, to as many people as he can. Um, I mean, read a lot, but reading doesn't just do it. Um, most of the best writers I know, both in TV and movie, in um, games, tend to have a lot of friends. They tend to have a big social group, that they're sociable themselves. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and that really helps because every character I ever make is drawn on somebody I've met before, somebody I know, or somebody that I think I kind of know. Um, and you draw on that and you start building the character there or you hear snippets of lines of dialogue or something. And you know, it's being exposed to a lot of weird stuff that helps. I mean, being 18 and having um, some 60 year old guy tell me we got to stop Friday mornings when we get our paycheck at 6 a.m. to go to the bar because I'll cash the bar uh, if we buy drinks there. No, well, you'll learn a lot. Um, like I, knowing people who've gone to prison, knowing people who have had to have that kind of choice of like talking about, should they run? Um, like those are all, I mean, don't, don't get in trouble, but like, those are all things that you can pull of and think about. So having as rich of a life as he can, um, while staying safe. Um, and it just, cause sometimes I think now people get very siloed where we're like, oh, I'm going for the degree in this. And so this is what I'm going to do versus like this broader thing. Like I didn't take an English degree for writing because I thought that was too narrow and I wanted to have a broader set of experiences. So I took theater, even though I really wasn't sure what I was writing for yet at that time. Um, it just gave me a bigger breadth of things to think about than just pure kind of like the English classes and, and creative writing. So support him, support him when he pivots to do something else and becomes a doctor, um, like whatever, but like just, there you go. That's a start.